my name is Adriana Kudo. I'm the founder of Collective Impact Journey, um, and I also launched something called Beaches Reduces, which is a local community initiative. So I actually found it on a zero waste Facebook group. Um, it was something that started in the Roncesvalles neighborhood in Toronto um, and I just thought it was a brilliant idea and it was something that could simply be implemented here where I live. So I started Beaches Reduces. Once you implement one small change, you realize how simple it actually is and it's not, it's not hard to continue that. Um, it's just about finding one solution and then making that a routine and then finding another one and another one. So, we started thinking more about just how we were decorating our home. And so in this space, a lot of the things are things that we found either in, you know, in the garbage, like on the side of the road that people were just gonna throw away to a landfill and Gary and I would just rescue these things and bring them home and create, you know, kind of a really fun vibe here with things that we found. Obviously we try as much as possible uh, with all of our um, bathroom kind of self-care items. We try to purchase them in bulk um, and in different packaging. So things like toothpaste, for example, or deodorant are things that we buy in bulk now. So we don't buy them um, in those traditional tubes anymore. When we do our coffee and tea, tea is always, uh, we buy it in bulk. So, and coffee is the same. So we have a reusable K-cup that we use. So when we are making coffee, there's no waste. Um, and of course we can just get our one single cup instead of producing a big pot since there's just two of us. Uh, we also found on the side of the road again, um, a really fantastic old vintage espresso maker. And then just making sure we're set for the day. So before we leave the house, we make sure that we have the tools we need to be successful throughout the day. So we make sure that we have a reusable water bottle, a reusable coffee canister, some reusable bags in case we pick up some food on the way home, just a simple old Tupperware container in case we grab something out um, so we don't have to take those single-use clamshell containers. Um, and then a reusable bag or two. I think for me the idea of sustainability is just using what we have more than anything else. We have tons of clothing and products and materials that we've already taken from the earth. And so I think for me, part of sustainability is just making sure that we're not taking more if we don't need it. A lot of people are unaware of the issues that we're facing as a city and even globally. Um, so we really wanted to extend that past just our neighborhood, which is when we launched Collective Impact Journey. And so the idea behind that is we want to really create spaces for knowledge exchange um, and to bring people together around climate issues. So I think that just through kind of living the way we live, people around us see that and we're very, we're very vocal about that. What I try to do is just show people how we do it and hope that that inspires them to, to do it however it works for them. When Adriana told me about Beaches Reduce and uh, I was like, this is exactly what is required. Like I'm so glad that someone is doing it. And then I got to know that it's a very nice program which has been like implemented nicely in a lot of areas and that was really good to know that someone is doing what actually needs to be done and I feel there should be more events like this there, it should be it's about building communities and being more something that I learned from it is being more patient with my own journey with other people's journey uh, like we need to be more patient and can't be very very demanding or having to change in a day in order to save the planet. I met Adriana at the Thanksgiving potluck, again organized by CSI. So that's how we got talking and I said a lot of things in my house are actually upcycled. On reflection, I thought it's, it's just something that comes to me naturally. So uh, we spoke about her initiative coming up, which was this. So I, it got me thinking that I can actually consider selling these upcycled items. So since then I've been working and making more products out of uh, things that I have at home. Give it a try. You know, it's actually not as hard as people think. Um, it's quite simple. I think, you know, maybe five years ago, we didn't all walk around with 
reusable water bottles. And now almost everyone I know has a reusable water bottle that they, that they walk around with. And so I think it's just about finding those small changes that work for you and then trying them and then just letting it snowball from there. I think that's the biggest, that's the biggest thing. Um, yeah, and use what you have.